I cannot understate how devastating of a change this is for Twitch, assuming that it's enforced, which I know is a big if with Twitch, but Twitch's new content guidelines in terms of service absolutely just castrate your ability to run your stream as a business, to be sustainable as a creator. They've just completely ruined it in a way that in my entire history, since before Twitch existed, I have never once said you should leave Twitch. I'm doing it now. You have no future there. Twitch just updated their terms of service and their branded content guidelines. With their terms of service update, they are now restricting advertising capability and saying that you can no longer simulcast what they call multi-streaming without permission from Twitch. They've also completely overhauled their new branded guidelines, basically completely preventing you from running your own ads. If you have any sort of sponsored logos on stream or overlays, they're limited to 3% of the total screen size which is not much. You're not allowed to run your own baked in video ads or display ads like lower thirds, banners, commercial breaks when you're running a commercial break, which is kind of the point. Any of that. This completely removes all agency from the creator. You also can't have audio ads, by the way. YouTube has somewhat similar language that was of controversy like five or so years ago, but the difference is YouTube has the nuance that clarifies that it bans advertiser-provided ads that should be run as YouTube ads, whereas creator-created ads voiced and created by the creator are completely allowed, whereas Switch is banning the formats entirely. But they're allowing background product placement, which is the most shadiest way to go? What? This completely removes all agency from the creator. It adds in a layer of control over your content that no platform should have and forces you to be dependent on Twitch for your revenue, for your sustainability in a way that we have been learning year after year after year is not sustainable for streamers. We know this isn't sustainable. And yet they are forcing you to do this. This is a devastating blow to the creator economy. This basically just kind of forces creators to just go elsewhere. Like I, in my entire history, I've always resisted saying you should leave Twitch or that Twitch is dying. This is the nail in the coffin. If they enforce this, you have no future on Twitch. This is forcing esports organizations to reconsider being on the platform at all, as I have seen multiple now talking about. And that means that they will either just completely abandon the platform because it's completely unviable for them to use it, or just put a very limited version of their content there where viewers are going to go elsewhere to watch it, which will also lead more people to run their own content platforms outside of Twitch, which could be a very good change in the long run. I'm going to lax my anti-kick policies. Kick is run by a gambling company that is terrible and they don't have your best interests at heart at all. They need to make gambling content both for being exposed to it and being around it and all of that opt in. They need to get rid of their face guy that is scum of the earth. They need to make some changes. But at this point, I'm going to say you should just multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch because Twitch, oh, they're making some changes. Some people are mad about the prohibited branded content categories. I think this is actually okay for the most part other than it's contradicting some of their actual content guidelines. Actually, wait, don't get me started on the implications of this one. I'll save you my genuine yelling that deserves to happen over the LGBT issues that are probably implied here. But this would also mean things like the ACLU, Aid for Ukraine specifically, or other issues. Uh, climate change. Like, what? What is Twitch thinking? The, this is the nail in the coffin, assuming they enforce it. Like, realistically, they, they just signed WWE. Meanwhile, Call of Duty just signed a YouTube exclusive deal, so that's going to be a big deal for competition. But realistically, events can't even happen. Like, they're not going to adhere to these rules. So either Twitch isn't going to enforce these and it's going to be a mess, and the ones that get the real consequences are the smaller YouTubers that don't deserve it, or smaller streamers that don't deserve it, or no one's just going to want to stream on Twitch if they have to adhere to these insane level of rules. Remember to be kind, rewind, really start looking at platform shifts and restructuring your content strategy this year. This is the summer to lock in multi-streaming and to really build sustainability rather than just begging for subs and gifted subs and streaming 12 hours a day. If you're still on that path because people keep resisting my advice here, now's the time.